semantic web is about um, combining and integrating data from all over the place, from different sources that are available on the web. And, and that data could be about anything. It could be about a video that you're watching, it could be data from Wikipedia, or it could be um, data about health science, proteins, and so on. And the goal is, with all this data being available on the web, the challenge is how can we actually combine it and integrate it together. And, and once you combine it and integra integrate it, you can start making relationship also between those data so that you can actually point from your video into a Wikipedia page uh, that will reference, for example, that will talk about the actors or the directors uh, that will appear in that video. So it's really about linking information on the web and, and helping combining them. We've been working on that for quite a few years already. We, we released a, a, a language called RDF to help the representation of that. And that's one, one flavor of it. Um, uh, we've been working, lately we've been working with the health science community a lot. And they are, they are dealing with billions of information about proteins. And one of their challenges is, is actually to integrate and combine this data so that they can actually, when they see a symptom appearing on, during the testing, they can relate this symptom information with past data they had about the protein itself. And when they do research on, on, on uh, drugs, they can actually realize that this drug that was originally designed for this uh, usage is, actually, be is actually, actually better in another context that they didn't even imagine. So they really needed to have a way to integrate this data. The same way physics was used originally to, to uh, promote the web, so that uh, a physicist can actually write and, and publish a document, we're using health data for the, same, for the same use here. We are seeing this coming up. Um, um, for example, Oracle started to integrate uh, uh, RDF support and triple node support into, into the databases uh, uh, for like a year or two already. Um, in the video market, Joost has been relying a lot on RDF in, in internally, and they are exposing some of it in their HTML pages as well. One of the issues that you're facing is when you receive a video you, from, from a content producer, this video will have lots of information attached to it. And how do you integrate that with your existing system? is a challenge. Uh, uh, most, a lot of comp what, in what we've been saying is a lot of companies actually will be able to under eight or 10 properties affect and, and be able to propagate those eight to, to 10 properties uh, downstream, uh, sometimes all the way to the users. Um, um, what Juice has been trying to do is, is, is not to try to eliminate much of those properties, but try to keep them as much as possible so that actually can reuse them. And by publishing those properties um, inside HTML pages on the web, they can actually let people find the content, which is available on Joost, a lot more. So the metadata could be inside the video itself, the same way that you have EXIF information inside an image, which is added uh, uh, first by your, your camera when it's, when it's shooting. Um, you will have some of this metadata available within the video itself. Um, you can, uh, in including digital rights, for example, if you want to express that your video is, is uh, uh, under the Creative Commons uh, license, um, you can actually say that within your video itself. You have mechanism to say that already today. And then it's a question of, of uh, showing the information and making the information available to the end users inside the user interface. An example of that is Flickr, where um, you have geolocation information inside the image. And if your camera is equipped for, for GPS, it will put the GPS coordinate inside the image. And then Flickr takes those information which are inside the image, and the way they show it to the users is by putting it on a map. So we, the user don't see the metadata itself per se as raw materials. What they see is, is a view that can meaningfully present the information to them.